going on guys so today's video we're going to interview the students the two students that i've had on the truck for about four or five days now wanted to get their honest opinion as to what they've gone through with talking with the recruiters and you know what their experience was like at the school they went to uh, the Salt Lake City, Utah, and we're also going to talk about what it's like being out in a trainer's truck. Hope you guys enjoy. Alright guys, so like I said, I want you guys to be 100% honest in this whole thing. So we're going to start from the beginning. What is the difference from what the recruiter had told you to reality? And reality, the recruiter fucked me in the ass without the comic card to see if a decent race or reach around. <laughs> oh, man, no, no. What, did, what did the recruiter tell you that didn't The happen? recruiter told me on the last time I talked to him, that all I had to do was bring enough money to get from point A to point B. That when I got to the fucking school, I would have paid training. I would have a food cart with enough, uh, you know, for each day. There would be enough money each day to where I could get something hot to eat. When I got there, I got, uh, yeah, no, fuck you. You ain't getting shit. We don't do that. How was the facilities there at the school? Now, you, you guys went to Salt Lake City. Yeah. Salt Lake, pretty nice. The, decent facilities. They got a decent just hope, setup for you to learn, too. Just hope, pray, you get a roommate that knows how to wash his ass and feet. And you don't get a room full of fucking Muslims. Because they'll wake your ass up and tell you to shut up that they need to pray. Now, how, how was the school itself, as far as the instructors and the world course and all that? How, how was it? How, what was your experience out there? Instructors, some of them are pretty cool. Some of them are complete assholes. Some of them are just a touch too damn happy. Yeah. Some are touched in the head. Coffee, sweetheart. But uh, the road course was was cool. I did. We do uh, your first three days as you're doing your your basic, your your advanced, and then your your practice road course we can actually take you out on a set course approved by Utah DOT and then after that you go out to the highway it's pretty good and then testing if you take anything from this video learn your fucking pre-trip for the love of God learn your pre-trip if you do not pass pre-trip don't get to test you don't get to do it. jack shit and you get three strikes and then you're up for review and if they find you fucking around or you haven't shut up the classes you haven't shown up for classes you're getting a boot in your ass on the way out the fucking door and you got to find your own way home mm -hmm. so now what would you actually change about the school itself from your guys' experience what would you like to see changed Paid training and that way people who come that are like with minimal funds they're not surviving on that are surviving on freaking ramen noodles, ramen noodles and peanut and butter and jelly. jellies I always say you know they would actually do the food cart thing where you get like 25 bucks a day for you know a hot a couple of hot meals coffee in the morning and like sodas during it throughout the day yeah. or you know throwing a little extra for cigarettes or something so now what advice would you give new students coming in you know people that are looking to come to Sierra England looking to get into the industry what advice would you give them knuckle down keep your fucking socializing to a minimal and study 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 practice fucking practice you do not study and you do not practice there's no way in hell you're gonna pass no so uh, if you're like us if you smoke stay the fuck out of the smoking area unless you're going out there to have a cigarette go out have a cigarette say fuck it come back and study your damn books treat it like a fucking college course 
Your CDL is your fucking degree. You don't study, you don't get your fucking degree. Don't be one of these people that fucks around for the first 10 days of it and then realizes, oh shit, I'm fucking testing tomorrow and test fucking four and five times and fail every time. Because then you'll get to fucking booting your ass and then you got to find your own way home back to wherever it is you come from. Now you guys both passed your road tests. Right? One and done. One, One and done. done. How is it being out on the truck? I mean, is it a big difference from? Oh what yeah, you're expecting? big, yeah. big, big fucking difference because the 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 object of the school is to teach you enough to get your learners or you know to get you get qualified you for your per, your your your, your, license. your license. They don't teach you. That's like the bare, bare fucking mini, minimum. They teach you and then you drop in the bucket of the shit yeah. you actually need to know. I mean, if you get lucky, you get a good instructor like I got, Mr. Al over here. Yeah. Or Masa, as we call him. <laughs> he's, he's fucking awesome as shit, dude. Down, yeah, because when we were going through school, they didn't teach down, uh, they didn't teach mountain, uh, mountain shit. shit. They didn't okay. teach how to drive in the fucking winter. They just said, put the key in, turn it, let your gauges sweep, do your drive. and drive. Now your confidence level from the, the first day you got out on the truck with me to now four or five days into it how much more comfortable are you guys behind the wheel I'm actually compared to the first night driving I was probably pucker factor of uh, probably about 12 and to after yesterday going through the Smoky Mountains going through those switchbacks there that was about a pucker factor of 10 but I'm actually pretty confident. I got a, like I said, got a great instructor. He doesn't pull his punches and you fucking up, he'll let you know. So, in, I was gonna say, in your honest opinion, how do you actually feel about me as a trainer? Is there anything that you would want me to change? No. Nah. Nah, you're Dude, great. You're, I wish there were more people like you that don't give a fuck about people's feelings. Like they, I said earlier, you know, won't be fucking shit. I offended you. Get the fuck over it, stuff like you fucking live. Out here, out like. here, it's especially with three to a truck. It's when you're driving, if you ain't got your fucking mindset right, dude. You're taking three lives into your fucking hands, and trust me. Now, being three people into a truck, are you feeling that you are still getting the one-on-one -on -one attention? Oh yeah, as yeah. you would if it was just yeah, like definitely people? because. The way we set it up was I drive during the days, Moose drives at night, so I get to 10 hours of drive time, the, the instructions from you, the pointers from you when I need them, and then Moose gets it at night. So now, what are your guys' goals at CR England? Are you guys planning on being a teammate for a while, or do you guys yeah, look up? About it, we plan on being a team probably for about a year or so and then if we decide to go our separate ways I might go trainer you know pass on the knowledge that was passed on to me kind of pay it forward kind of shit uh, after your after your year's contract up would you are you still looking at staying at England or yeah no. my wife would shoot me if I left this company so there you have it guys the brutal and honest truth from two students who are currently in training and what they went through.